Hi everybody, I'm trying to do a few tutorials regarding Power Automate CI CD or Power Automate Continuous Integration Continuous Delivery. So for this, uh, you know, for this series of tutorials, I'm planning to do, um, I guess, two or three tutorials. And the first one is about app registrations or more specifically, I'm planning to create a service principle in uh, Azure portal and I'm planning to give it um, the flow service API permissions so the service principle will have access to the um, resources in the flow service so you know before I continue I apologize for the echo uh, I, I did not find my uh, my um, mic stand, so my mic is in a weird position. So that's why you're gonna hear some background noise and some echo. I'll try to remove that, but uh, yeah. So anyway, so as I said, this is about Power Automate CI/CD. We create the service principle or the app registration in Azure portal, and then we create the custom connector and then we create some actions and uh, the actions that I want to create are cancel runs and resubmit run and I'm not very sure uh, that I will be able to achieve this uh, but uh, yeah we'll we'll try it out and uh, we'll see all right so it's very easy we have to first go to portal.azure.com and um, in here, we will create a new app registration. And to do that, we can either click here on app registration, or if you don't find it there, you can search for it in the search box, app, hey, hold on, app registration. Okay, so then we go to app registrations, Click on new registration here and uh, give it a name. Well, in this case, the name is Power Automate um, Application. And um, the accounts that will be supported are those in my tenant. So I'm just going to leave this as it is. I'm not going to put any a redirect URI and just click on register this is this is going to create the app now the app is not configured I have my application ID here uh, and this is of course the tenant ID I'm going to use these um, in the custom connector configuration now as I said I, I'm, I'm gonna cover that in a separate tutorial so this is the first part all right so the first thing that we have to do is go to authentication, click on add a platform, and then click on web. And in here, in the redirect URI, we have to put this redirect URI. Now, I'm, I'm going to put this in the video description as well, so you can uh, go ahead and you know copy it from there. So it's important to understand that this redirect URI is from the custom connector configuration. Now I've done many custom connector security configurations so I know that this is the redirect URI uh, that we get when we finish this security configuration in the custom connector in Power Automate. So that's why I have it. Of course, if let's say in the future uh, this changes you can always go back to your app and change the redirect URI to the new one. You know, just in case it changes. I don't know if, if it will, but just in case it does, you can just go ahead and change your um, application authentication platform with the new one. All right, so I'm not gonna change anything else in here and I'm going to click configure. I have my platform here and of course I can always add new URIs here just by clicking on add URI but I'm not going to do that now 
I'm just going to skip to API permissions. In here, I will add a permission. These are the APIs, Microsoft APIs. And then you have APIs my organization uses. And I'm going to search for Microsoft Flow. Microsoft Flow service. And then I can see the Microsoft Flow service permissions that I can give this application. So I'm just going to pick all of them. If you're a Power Automate user, then probably you can recognize a few. Manage all flows, read all flows, manage all approvals, read all approvals, and so forth. And this is the uh, user permission where you can access, right? You can use this to access Microsoft Flow as a signed in user. All right, so add permission. I have all of them here and I will grant admin consent for super team super team is the name of my tenant to use this application right so now this these permissions are granted for the whole organization um, through this app right so now this if I use this app what this means is I can use this app any user um, currently can use this app as long as they have the um, uh, you know has access to the app because I can I can limit the usage of the app if I want only for a particular number of users so I configure my authentication the API permissions and then I can create a secret when you create a secret it's best to give it a meaningful name. So in my case, this secret will be used in the Power Automate Custom Connector. And this is the secret here. And uh, I'll just copy and paste it in my notepad. And that's it. So because this secret is exposed, I will remove it okay for security purposes of course and when I will configure the connector you will not know what the secret is I hope that makes sense for you okay so and that's it okay so this is the first part of the tutorial um, in the next one we will go ahead and create the custom connector